Did you know that in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, there is a very secret ending you can get at the beginning of the game simply by betraying President Myers, and I'm going to show you why you should do it. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. You don't believe in no fate. Every day digging the grave. Step in the room with his face. City of dreams, city of dreams. During the initial quest for Phantom Liberty, Dog Eat Dog, you were introduced to Songbird, a woman who managed to hack into your relic chip and is explaining that she has a way to save your life if you would help her and President Myers from the impending crash that they're about to do in Dogtown. You a construct like Johnny? No, V. I'm a netrunner. Hopped on the relic's cognitive protocol to dial in. I see and hear what you do. Just now, I am on board Space Force One, sitting right across from Rosalind Myers, President of the new United States of America. The President? Fuck. <laughs> I... No. You're not joking. Dead serious, yes. The plane's been hacked. Trajectory set for Night City. They'll bring us down to Dogtown soon. Our comms are down, most likely jammed. The relic was my only option. Right now, you're one contact on the ground. How do I help and how much time we got? Too little to avoid landing in Dogtown. Likely enough to minimize losses, save some folks. That's where you come in, V. The President's life, her safety, that's your top priority. Now, normally when you go through this quest, you get hacked into by Songbird, she talks to you, gives you the relic tree skills, and you can begin your journey to Dogtown by simply following her instructions. But, there is a secret ending that you can achieve simply by failing this quest. The way that you do this is after the initial conversation with Songbird, she gives you the skill tree and she tells you to go through the back gate in order to get the President Myers, simply run away from Dongtown as fast as possible, and you will get this cutscene. You're just V, the president needs your help. Mother what? Congrats, V. You just killed Rosalind Myers and the NUSA. Pray we don't meet again, and I mean ever. Still with us? What the... What happened? Your presidential rescue op. Miserable failure. Honestly though, good f riddance. Uh huh. Okay. So now what? Huh. We go on living. Start by finding us a drink. Now at this point you may be wondering, okay, well what happens to the president? Can I still go to the stadium and find her? Can I try to save her? Can I get to the car crash? Can I still get her iconic weapon, Hawk? The answer is no. I tried every which way possible. I followed the exact same route from how you're supposed to play this quest all the way to where Songbird takes you up the top of the forklift and you're able to go in there and help the president there is no way that you can possibly get in there you cannot hack your way to the top songbird is literally required for you to be able to get to that part of the game and i even tried to go to the secret underground area where you're supposed to follow president myers in order to get to your new hideout and all the other situations that occur through the mainline story and I was completely unable to do that. So when you do this secret ending, you fail the entire main quest line altogether and there is no possible way of you interacting with Songbird, President Myers, Reed, or any of the other mainline characters, except for of course Mr. Hands. So after you fail, you will get a free token, a VIP token if you will, from Mr. Hands in order to enter Docktown and just play the game as normal. And at this point, you can do all of the side content, you can do all the side quests, 
all the new vehicle quests. You can do the supply drops. You can do everything else in Dogtown except for anything to do with the main quest line. So you will never again meet Reed, President Myers, Songbird, or any of the other mainline people. You will hear Kurt Hansen throughout Dogtown, but you will not be able to meet him or do any of the other mainline material. Now, I tried coming through the game to see if I could get any hints of what was going on uh, with the president dead, but I didn't hear any newscasts referencing this ending, so I don't know if I completely missed it. I will probably try to do some more experimentation to see if that's the case, and if you do when you try this ending, please let me know down below. I would love to see if there's any more juicy details, and I will do a follow-up video. Other than that, there is no other details that I was able to find with the secret ending, but there you have it. This is what happens when you betray President Myers and get an all new secret ending for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Now, finding this on my playthrough was honestly one of the most shocking things that I stumbled upon. Like, it wasn't even purposeful. I was literally trying to go do something in Night City and had no clue that I could fail this quest. And it was just, it was phenomenal. The fact that CD Projekt Red thought about this was one of the coolest things I have seen in a video game. And I have to deeply applaud them for how awesome. That this is but anyway let me know what you guys think down below for more cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty and other cyberpunk content make sure to like subscribe and support the channel as always i very much appreciate you guys until next time you wonderful beautiful and fantabulous chumbas remember jesus loves you i love and appreciate you stay being bodacious and until next time i will see you later you don't believe in no faith Every day digging the grave, uh, stepping up to what it takes, uh, city of dreams, city of gang, you don't believe in no fate, uh, I might just dig up your grave, uh, stepping up to what it takes, uh, city of dreams, city of gang, 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 city of dreams, seven you're living your grave, city of dreams, city of gang.